Hello everyone, this is Akshay and welcome back to TechPinder. So in this video, we are going to talk about Android Pie on your S8 Plus. So Samsung has recently launched a program which is known as One UI Beta Program and well, you can enjoy Android 9. So in that beta program, if you register, you can enjoy Android Pie updates and also Samsung's own One UI interface. Well, the problem with that is that they have already closed the registration for this. If you want to upgrade your S, S8 Plus into Android 9 Pie beta version which is not possible by the official method. But here I am so I will show you a method by which you can update your S8 Plus into 9 Android Pie. So well if you are already using the stock firmware it will not void your warranty. Well if you already installed a custom room and if you want to enjoy this update well you need to install the stock firmware so that you can really enjoy the update. Well if you want to know how to install a stock firmware here's a video on the card go and check that video out so once you've installed the stock firmware you need to keep in mind that you are using the latest stock firmware you can go and update it by clicking on the update manually and you can update to the latest version once you have done that you need to install and update by using an sd card and we are good to go So once we have downloaded and it shows that we are having the latest version, the next thing is that you need to download and file the link will be in the description from where you can download it and you need to put an SD card on your phone. I have already done it, I will show you. So here is my SD card and I have named this file as update.zip. You can name it to any file whatever you want and once you have done, uh, you are good to go. So before doing anything, I would highly recommend you to back up all your files which are important to you. If you have already done the backup, you are good to go. And if you have not done, please skip this step and first do the backup, a whole system backup because if anything goes wrong, your data will be corrupted. I assume that you have installed the latest security patch and you have downloaded the file which is required and also you have backed all your important files. Once you have done that all, go and turn the power off button and wait for some time unless you see a black screen. So now we have turned the power off and now we are good to go. You need to press big speed button, volume up button for recovery mode and power button at the same time. So let me try this. Hold it for some time because it will be not processed if you are not holding it for some time. So once the screen up here, let it go and it will show installing system update. Now wait for some time and you can find here that it appears here. So it shows a lot of options I don't think you can see on your screen it's very small you need to go for apply update from SD card so this is the process we are following and then press the power button to confirm it okay and here you can find the file which we are renamed as update.zip just press the power button once and we are good to go so you can find here that it's updating and this process will take something around 15 to 20 minutes so I'm going to fast forward so that it does not take a lot of time of yours Boom, it's been done. So it has successfully installed it. Now it will take some more time to boot and it's gonna install and make our phone ready for the final uses. So be a some more time with your phone and I think we have made it. Again I'm gonna do the fast forward so that it does not take a lot of your time. It will install the application, it will take some more time and make it ready for our final uses. So there is no data loss in this scenario and you can see here that it has the Android Pie style minimize buttons. So you can pretty much optimize your phone. The drop down menu is also has been completely revamped. It's very easy to access to the notification bar and you can change your settings with one hand. So you can see that the security patch level is 1st January 2019 and we are having the one year version and the Android Pie running. Now let's try our face recognition. I have heard that the face recognition has been improved and it's really very fast. Boom. Yup. So earlier it took around 2-3 to three seconds but now as you can see here it took around just one and a half second to unlock your phone. And let's try our fingerprint scanner. Boom. It is a little bit slow because the hardware on the S8 Plus is little slow. So if you remove this live wallpaper, the process will be a little bit faster. But we can wait to it. Uh, as I can say that 
the face recognition is damn fast you can also see that the icons has also been changed and the previous icons were a little different what you are seeing now like the call the message and the camera has also been changed and they also you can find a little bit of curve at the end of the app so that is pretty great and let's see how great the camera is so they have included the selective focus the pro mode the panorama is there and all other settings has been included if you want you can change it to your front camera and see how it's gonna be so it works pretty great and you can see you can go for selective focus you can go for photo uh, which would be like great so a little bit of changes has also been done and they have also included the AR emoji on this well I hope this video was helpful to you and if you really enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel if it is your first time on this channel so thank you for watching have a nice day and catch you in the next video.